So here I am in sunny and windy Florida. I've got a cut from my foil on my ankle, so I can't go out kiting. I figured I'd use this opportunity to make a video. And today I just wanted to talk about four skills that you can practice on the beach safely, especially for beginners, so that you get comfortable flying your kite, you develop some muscle memory and some kite flying skills that make you more confident when you get into the water. So first, a little safety caution. This video is really for someone who's taken lessons. You want an instructor to step you through how to set up your kite. You want an instructor to step you through how to launch it, how to fly, how to do water starts, how to body drag. For someone who's been through those lessons, this video is a good confidence builder before you go out and have your first windy day out on the beach after your lessons. Great, so let's start with skill number one. Skill number one is really just going to be launching that kite. Most people during their lessons, the instructor launches the kite for them. For me, when I got out to the beach by myself after my lessons the first time, I, I was just completely confused and didn't know what to do. So on a lighter wind day or with a smaller kite and a partner, this is a great skill to practice. First thing, you gotta find that partner. You gotta find someone who knows how to launch a kite. In my case, it's my wife, and she's done this a bunch of times before. If you're working with someone you don't know or you're working with a family member that's never done it, you really wanna make sure to step them through the exact steps of launching a kite. You can't simply just explain it to them. You have to kind of take them over to the kite, put their hands on the kite, show them how it lifts up, show them that you're gonna give them the thumbs up when you wanna let go, thumbs down when you want them to put it back down. And, and I found you've gotta do that a few times to help them develop kind of a sense for what's gonna happen. In this case, the wind is coming kind of straight from this direction, which means that we want the kite set up at 90 degrees, kind of coming across the beach this way. And so here, the wind is this way and the kite to set up this way perpendicular to that wind. The first thing that we're gonna work on when launching a kite is understanding where we are in position to the wind window and whether we have power or no power in our kite in order to get the kite up and off the ground. So have your partner stand the kite up. You're gonna back up so that there's some tension in the lines. And what we're gonna do is walk forward a few steps. We're gonna walk backwards a few steps. And what you should notice is at some point, the kite is fluttering, which means there's no real power in the kite. And so here, there's no power. You should see the kite flapping in the wind. And then as you walk forward into the wind a little bit, you should notice a moment where the kite kind of pops. It fills up with wind. That means you have power. And then I'm gonna walk forward till I feel the wind catch. You'll feel tension in the lines, power up. And here's the next skill you wanna work on very slowly and in a controlled way, bringing that kite up off the ground. Slowly bringing it up so that it doesn't create too much pull for you. So this is a slow bringing it up to 12 o'clock so I don't get yanked off my feet. So skill number two here is walking with your kite. So you may have to walk from the launch spot to the water or you may go, you may have drifted downwind while riding and you might have to walk back up. So walking is a really fundamental skill. Let's start with hand position. You usually wanna be able to fly that kite with one hand. That way you can, you know, look in the direction that you're walking. And so a one-handed grip, you can go on one side of the bar or you can split your grip and have a few fingers on each side of the bar. I would try both. I would try to see which ones work and which ones are comfortable for you. And with a one-handed grip, the other thing you're gonna to wanna to learn how to do is how do you steer the kite? With two hands, you have a lot more pressure. It's much easier to steer it more quickly. And an instructor in my early days told me, use your elbows. And so if you're holding the kite with one hand and you put that elbow up, elbow up, it's gonna force the kite down. If you put that elbow down, it's gonna force the kite up. Same thing the other direction. Elbow down, it's gonna put the kite down. Elbow up, it's gonna put that kite up and uh, go ahead and walk down that beach, get comfortable keeping the kite in the sweet spot, uh, maybe 45 degrees off the ground, moving your elbows to control that kite, pushing the bar out depending on the gusts that are hitting you. Last thing is body position. Now that you have that one-handed grip, you'll probably open that other shoulder and face upwind. That way you can walk 
the kite off to your side. Sometimes you can even lean against that kite. And remember, while you're walking, you want the bar all the way out so that it's not pulling against you and wearing you down and tiring you out even before you get back out on the water. Cool, so let's get into the third skill. The third skill here is water starting. I'd highly recommend you do this in shallow water. I was not able to, to film in shallow water because I got a big cut on my foot. So I'm gonna do this on the beach. And basically what you're gonna do is sit on your rear and you're gonna practice doing small power strokes. So moving that kite in front of you and feeling the power that it generates as it picks you up off the ground. And you're gonna start at 12 o'clock and you're gonna do a small one and you're gonna feel it lift you. Then you're gonna go out to one o'clock. You're gonna do a little bit of a bigger one. And the goal is to feel that sweet spot. If you pull too hard, you're gonna get pulled forward and you're gonna take a couple steps on the beach. If you don't do enough power, you won't even get up off the ground. And so this is a great way for you to understand how a kite generates power through moving it and sheeting in as you pull up. And that way when you're on the water next time, you're just gonna have that much more muscle memory. Your water starts are gonna be that much quicker and you're gonna make more of your time out there. Cool, so the last skill. The last skill is learning to control a kite in light wind. In light wind, kites will stall and fall out of the sky. So it'll look like the kite falling backwards or the kite tipping off to the side. And the real question is, what do you do and how do you get comfortable and how do you develop these habits? A bad habit that a lot of people tend to have is when a kite starts to fall out of the sky, they wanna sheet in to get more power in the kite. And that actually makes things worse. If you sheet in too much, you will stall or choke the kite. The kite will start to fall back out of the sky. So if we sheet in here, we should see the kite go backwards. And the first tip here is just push the bar all the way back out. Push the bar out, develop this habit, and what you'll see is your kite will fill back up with air and fly back up to 12 o'clock. So we're gonna sheet in, simulating some light wind. The kite's gonna start to fall. It's like falling, falling. And then we sheet out to save the kite. Keep it up in the air. It's falling, it's falling. There we go. The second skill that you're gonna to wanna to develop outside of pushing the bar out, this is another option. You could just back up, back up real quickly, and it'll put some tension on the power lines, and it'll help power go back into your kite. Like the kite starts to fall, I can back up. Then the kite will shoot back up. The third option is if it's really light and the kite is constantly stalling, Something that you can do is just keep the kite moving back and forth gently. As we learned from the power strokes, having a little bit of movement in the kite will keep some power in the kite. And so I've learned, especially if the wind died while I'm out on the water and I just need to keep the kite up long enough for me to get back to the beach, a little bit of gentle movement back and forth can keep tension in the lines, can keep me in control of the kite, and can keep the kite from falling out of the sky. So there you have it, those are the four skills launching, walking with a kite, water starts, and flying in light wind. Hopefully this is something useful that each of you can do in preparation for those kind of rare, exciting uh, sessions out on the water. And hopefully it helps you develop some muscle memory, get more confident, and make more out of your sessions once you're out there on the water. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you've got any questions about it or have any ideas for follow-ups, throw them in the comments down below. And thanks for watching.